Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. This is one of the most beautiful problems that I have solved in a while. And though this is classified as a hard level problem, I would rate this as a medium level problem and it would be easier if you can understand the problem better and the key concept behind the problem. So in this video, we'll be solving lead code problem number 3068, find the maximum sum of node values. And there is a key observation in this problem and as soon as I reveal the key observation or hint of the problem, I want you to go and solve the problem on yourself. Then if you are not able to solve the problem, only then come back to this video and watch this video till the end. At the end of the video, I have shared few similar problems which will actually help you to develop the concept even better. Now let's dive into the problem. So there are three inputs that is given in the problem. So we are given the node value. So what does this indicate? There are three nodes. So node number one, two, three, and these are the corresponding node values one, two, and one. All right. And we are also given a value of K. So why? I will come to that point later and we are given edges and it is given in the problem. You will be given exactly N minus one edges. So what does this indicate? This indicates that there is a path between every edge to the other edge. Say, for example, there are two not disconnected nodes in this problem. There are no two nodes which are not connected to each other. So this is what implies and these are undirected nodes. So that is the key of this problem. So there are three nodes and there are two edges. So all these are connected. Now you are given a value of K, right? So what do we have to do? We have to choose the edge. Say, for example, let's choose this edge. And once you have chosen this edge, what we have to do? We have to ZOR these two values. What is the ZOR of one ZOR three? Where did this three come from. So this is given by the value of K. So we have to ZOR one with three and also ZOR two with three. So what is one? Let me explain you the concept of ZOR. So uh, ZOR in simple. So this is the representation of one and what is three one one. So what does ZOR tell you? If these two bits are same, then the ZOR of those bits is zero. And if these two bits are different, the ZOR of that is one. So what is this number? This number is Two. So one or three is equal to two. Now, similarly, similarly, it's the same reverse, right? So do that will be equal to one. So actually doing ZOR on this will not be uh, will not lead to any change. Now let's look at this edge. So one or three, we already know if we pick up this edge and ZOR both of this one and one. So this will be two and this will be two. Now, what is the sum of all the three of the nodes? The sum is equal to six. And this is the maximum that we will be able to achieve in this problem. So that is the expected output of the problem. So what is the expected output? The maximum sum that we can get after zoring these values. Now, let's understand the observation and understand the basics. I hope you understood what ZOR means and I want you to understand one more concept when it comes to ZOR. Say for example, we ZOR 1 with 3, right? 1 with 3. So what happens? 0, 1. And then again, we have 1 and 1. So this will be equal to 2. This we saw. But now let's again ZOR this with 3. Again ZOR this with 3. So what happens? So let's do it again. So 1, zero. So you are actually arriving at the same number. So ones or say for the number is a and a will actually lead you to the same number. So the key observation here is if you are zoring any number twice with the same number that is x or k or k will always give you x. So this is one critical step of the point. If you have understood this concept better, now pause the video and go and try to solve the problem on your own. Now let's dive into the problem with an example. This is actually a beautiful example that I actually came up with. So there are five notes here five notes here. So what is the idea of the problem? The idea of the problem is you want to have a sum that is maximum. All right. So let's first pick up any two nodes in this problem. And these are the ZOR values since K is equal to three. So as soon as you look at this ZOR, what do you find? Four is actually a very attractive number here, right? Why? Because four ZOR three is increasing the number by three. So that is a good choice. Now let's pick up one more number. You can pick up this number, right? Because that is also increasing the 
value by one so let's pick up this four and this one or for better understanding let's yeah the, we will pick up these two so how is how are these two nodes connected four then one then three then one so why are this path these two nodes are connected we picked up two random numbers and we want to zar both of them right we identify zoring them will give the maximum value and we want to zar them so now let's first zar this two values so what will 4 become it will become 7 and 1s or 3 will become 2 and the remaining 3 and 1 now again let's zar this as well so 2 zar 3 and uh, sorry 2 and 3 will be zar so what it will give 7 1 and 3s or 3 is equal to 0 so what is the key thing this number since it is zar two times any number in this path will not be changed so this will remain as a 1 this will remain as a 3 but this 4 and 1 will be changed so that is the beauty and the key step of this problem that is we can pick any two numbers and we can just uh, zar them we need not zar anything on the path let there be 100 nodes in between these two or let there be one node the idea is you can just zar them so if you have understood this step then the answer to this problem is very simple right so we know this values and we also know the zar what are the zar that is 2 then the uh, 3 will give you a 0 then 4 will give you a 7 then 1 will give you a 2 and 2 will give you a 1 so these are the new zar values right so if you look what are the attractive what is the difference between so 1 is getting converted to 2 and if you are zoring this would not be a best choice right because we are actually decreasing our overall value by 3 so this i would never choose this if you ask me then this is actually increasing it by 3 then this is increasing it by one and this is decreasing it by one so if you look here if you look here what are the best choices so if you look here what is the option that we have one minus three three so one minus three three then one and minus one so these are the options but if you look uh, very deeply into the previous problem we can pick even number of nodes right so we will pick the maximum two nodes out of this and that will be our answer so four so what was the actual sum in the initial case three four and eight nine ten eleven so eleven was our initial sum eleven plus four that is equal to fifteen so this will be the answer so what we did from the initial let me explain you once again so we have this node values that is one three four one two so one three four one two and we got a difference array so what is the difference array we will zor this with three we will zor this with three and what is that two and we will see the difference so this is a difference array what does this give this gave what happens if we zor this element so we will have an increase in one if we do this we will have a decrease in three so this will lead to plus three and this will lead to plus one and this will lead to minus one then the next step we could do is sort it sort in descending order so if you sort this in descending order it's simple 3 1 1 minus 1 and minus 3 so what we will do we will pick up in pairs so this pair if you pick up this what is the sum the sum will be 4 if you pick up this pair this will actually lead to a 0 so you can either pick this up or not choose to pick this up say for example this was 2 and this was minus 1 you will still pick up this because this pair is actually giving a positive sum of 1 so the steps are very simple let me dive into the pseudo code of this problem we will have a difference array and our sum will be 0 this is to calculate the initial sum of the nodes and the difference array this calculation is uh, what we discussed just now and we will be sorting it in the descending order and this is the critical section we will choose a pair we will not choose individual number but we will choose a pair that is the step is plus 2 right so if the pair is having a sum greater than 0 then we will increase the sum that is this initial sum which was calculated here if the pair is giving a positive we will actually add it to the sum and finally we will return the value of the sum and these are medium level problems which will actually help you to understand this problem even better and has shared the 
whatsapp community link actually we were on telegram all these days and we are 400 plus people now i am trying to shift it to whatsapp please do consider joining this uh, whatsapp community thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe